I think the main intention for even starting the vault is to be able to give back to the future, um, the generations that aren't here and, you know, taking it advantage of it now. And it's, it's, it's kind of a, a generational thing. It's being able to pass it forward. And we've been able to enjoy it for two generations going on to our third. So maybe by doing this, we'll be able to give it to the fifth and sixth generations. And not just our generation, I'm talking of collectors, generations of collectors, so. I've been a very prolific artist over the years. I've continued painting for 43 years. So there's a lot of images of mine out there. And so we want to kind of dry up the market and make it even more exclusive in the future. The Vault Project is a way for future generations like Daisy and Hendrix to appreciate some of Scott's most iconic pieces. A lot of his early works are sold out and I get emails all the time about finding a number. Is this, you know, Panacea, is that one available? Or is Catch of the Day, is that available? We selected of course, pieces that were almost sold out so that um, there wasn't a ton of them in there, but pieces from, you know, my wine series, pieces from the motorcycle series, some car pieces, a whole array so that we could pick out pieces that, you know, covered all the different genres that I did. To start out, we are putting away 10 prints. We have an array from Harley motorcycle, Harley wine, wine, <laughs> car pieces, and they're all gonna be put away and they have some significant meaning. So for instance, there might be a Harley Davidson anniversary painting that we're holding off for a, a later, more significant anniversary date. Uh, the car pieces are specifically like Corvette. Um, you know, those are kind of classics that we have decided to set aside. Uh, so they all kind of have something, some release date in mind that we'll tell you when they release. We're not telling you now. Let's just say some of the pieces we pulled for the vault are iconic pieces of Scott's work. I hope that this whole program kind of sheds some light on some of Scott's most iconic pieces in an elegant way. I also am just so grateful that our family is even able to do something like this. You know, there's a lot of artists that paint and then they stop painting and no one knows. So this is kind of just a great thing that he has started and that it's passed on to Alexa and me. And who knows, maybe Daisy and Hendrix will both be artists in their own way. Maybe he's going to be a left-handed guitarist, Hendrix, sorry. Uh, and Daisy will be a flower. <laughs> yeah, Daisy, yay! <laughs>